So here we are at the Toy Fair and once again we're on the WSI stand and a small corner of the stand is devoted to Drake Collectibles and once again I'm with Bruce Hay. Hello Bruce, how are you? Hello Ian, good to see you again. Yeah, once a year, we always seem to meet like this. Um, what sort of year did you have in 2018? Well, 2018 was, was the best year for Drake Collectibles. We had a few new products launched, a few new trailers finally came and uh, a very productive year. Okay, so just in general, if you look forward, what are your, what are your feelings for 2019? 2019 is going to be a much bigger year. Uh, 2018, I did a lot of development behind the scenes, and I have some really exciting projects that will debut at the Brisbane Truck Show okay. in May in Brisbane. In Brisbane, okay. So um, much of the talk at the exhibition here is about the Baumer Show um, in April, which is not really the area that Drake uh, focuses on, obviously, but... Um, so it sounds like for you it's Brisbane that is Yeah, the, the Brisbane Truck Show is the uh, Australian bomber on a smaller scale, just with trucks and trailers. So, uh, okay. That's, we thought that um, some of the things we have are very iconic Australian product, and we should probably uh, announce and show the tooling models on our own soil. Okay. So I think that means you've not got anything to show me here today? No? Well, I've got nothing uh, really new to show you, but we've got a few projects which we've been working on for a little while. Okay. Uh, and one truck here, which you haven't seen before, the Kenworth 900 Legend, which we announced at our 60th anniversary open day in September. This is the Kenworth 900 Legend truck. It's uh, old school looks with new modern technology running gear, so it, it resembles the old W900 series trucks that were released in Australia. So a bit of a history about this truck is they uh, Kenworth made the truck, put it on display in a beautiful uh, cream and burgundy colour at the Bruceman Truck Show two years ago and they put the truck out to order later in the year for one day only. On that one day they sold 257 of these trucks so it was fitting that we, we made a replica of it. This one will not come in any plain colours, it will only come in company liveries. Now the first truck that we produce will be Kenworth 900 Legend number one and it will go on sale at the Bruceman Truck Show in May, two years before, two years after, sorry, the real truck was debuted there. And so, will that be in a limited run of models? It'll be a limited run. Of how many? Uh, there'll be 200, there'll be, sorry, there'll be 514. Okay, so you're look, trucks on produced. that day you're looking to sell out the 514 to beat the real truck sales. <laughs> well, that would be really good, but um, we'll, we'll open it up on that day. We'll have some at the truck show for sale. Kenworth will have some at the truck show for sale, and they'll also be opened up on the uh, internet and through your favourite Drake collectibles. Is it something movie. that you can pre-order, or is it...? Oh look, the people will probably pre-order it through their Drake shop or so anything like able, that, but our, our that. marketing agreement with Packard, it'll be only on that day, it'll be launched. It comes with all the standard Drake functions and features with the working suspensions, steering, tiltable cab, bonnet, and a, a very nice looking truck, and there's some really good liveries. They'll be announced at a, at a later date. We, we get the truck one out of the way first. Just released in Australia and around the world are the Skells, the container trailers from Freighter. So they've been a little while coming, these ones, but uh, they finally arrived and selling quite good. So this is a traditional Skell setup for Australia where you can put um, a 20 foot container there or you can put a 20 foot container here or one there and one there or you can put a 40 or a 45 foot one there. Mm, okay. So and, that, and these containers, are these WSI ones at the moment? They're the WSI containers. Yeah. Um, Drake will be releasing a container a bit later on Okay. Uh, to, to fit with some other projects. So. But they have all the working suspensions, wind down legs and, and all the things that make a great model a good model. Okay, and these are available now? They're available now in a range of colours, uh, popular liveries. So Bruce, this looks quite uh, interesting. I know it's not something that you're actually making, but what can you tell us about this? Well, this is uh, something a little bit different. This is our, our fat cab, our blue-grey model, and uh, a collector's dropped this off to show me here. It's had a slight modification to it. So look at that, and you can see that there are tiny lights 
all around the car in the yeah, all the clearance lights, the headlights, the flashing lights all work on it, so that's a, a very innovative type thing, makes it quite different, and quite unique in the, uh, in the display case, and these are the, uh, the final shot metal samples of the torque liners, well this is, this is the easy liner, or the rope liner they call it, so uh, this is another freighter brand trailer. So uh, these uh, will go on sale. The first one will be released once again at the Brisbane Truck Show. They'll come in a range of colours, uh, company liveries. So they have, the, once again, working suspension, wind-down legs. Um, some will have opening doors, some won't have opening doors. So this is the easy line at the start. Then will come the torque liner. And before the end of the year will be the wet van and the dry van. OK. Now these are in the uh, famous uh, grey colour scheme of prototype type models. Yep. So what sort of colours can you expect these to be produced in? Well, right, there'll, there'll be uh, some of the major transport companies. A lot of companies we haven't done before uh, will now come out with, with the different range of trailers that we have. But there's, there's also will be the, the prime one will be white with the freighter blue chassis on it. Right. Okay. So that'll be that'll be the the white line or the core line major release. So will these be ready for Brisbane, is that what you're saying? Or? Yes, right. yeah. so first ones will go on sale at Brisbane. So. Okay, good. Now there's a few other projects I think you're working on, but you can't actually give us the details today. Um, but do you want to kind of give us a, a feel for the sort of things you're looking at? Well, we've, um, we've been developing a few trailers behind the scenes for a few different bits and pieces. The, uh, like we, we work for Drake, we're selling Freighter, um, so it's time to maybe some more Drake product surfaced, mm -hmm. some new designs and that, and uh, we've got a fairly big announcement about a truck. At, at Brisbane? At Brisbane. Okay. Yeah. So that certainly looks like the uh, the time we need to be watching your, your social media and... Uh, yeah, look, we'll, we'll announce this um, at the show, and uh, it'll, it'll be fairly fairly good. And it's something that you think collectors are really going to go well. Yeah, this I, is I think it will. It's, it's, a, it's a nice addition to the Drake stable. So uh, we've got a, a fair bit happening there. And um, now that the, the 900 has finished its tooling, uh, there's, there's, there's room at that factory for another Kenworth. Okay. Right, okay. Well, thanks so much, Bruce. No worries. Nice to see you Always again. a pleasure. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much.